Hi guys, Sandra here. So it's springtime in Quebec and uh, today I'm going to be harvesting some daylilies. Um, not, not true lilies or irises. Those are dangerous to eat. But the common daylily, um, almost an invasive species and I have them growing in my garden. Here is the common daylily. How to identify it? It has basal leaves, meaning all the leaves come from the bottom. And the leaves are a little floppy or curved in the middle. Not like the iris, which is pointy. The iris don't want to eat. Um, so all you have to do is take out the outer leaves to get the sprout. It's really good. Uh, it tastes fresh, like a spring green. A little, like, almost a little spicy, like, uh, like a garlic green. So this, this is a vegetable, very popular in Asia. Um, it's very high in vitamin A and vitamin C. Another tip on identifying daylilies is that they grow through tubers, um, not bulbs. So here I'm going to dig up to show you. So here's the tuber. Uh, I'm not going to eat this because uh, it's so tiny. I think you would need quite a few to get a meal. But these are very easy to transplant. So as you can see, I cut off a lot of this plant. If I just put the tuber in the ground, it's going to get a whole new plant. These plants are very resilient and um, they're actually pretty hard to get rid of. So go ahead and eat all that you like. out the outer leaves and the tops and then I have a part it's almost yellow sort of yellowy and that's my sprouts I like them a little crisp not the floppy parts Now these, I, I do know it's the common daylily. I planted it myself. Um, don't eat something that you don't know exactly what it is. The common daylily has those big orange flowers that are pointing upward. And they're called daylilies because they bloom for only a day. Now I'm picking these sprouts. Um, I have a lot of daylilies growing, so I'm not really worried about hurting any um, future growth. I've got lots and lots of daylilies. They're, they're an invasive plant in a lot of areas. Okay, so what did I get for my springtime harvest? I have some daylilies, chives, and French sorrel. So here are my daylily greens. I've chopped them up and uh, it reminds me a lot of leeks actually, looks really yummy. Um, this, These are the things I gathered today, so my chives, sorrel, and daylilies. With some olive oil, sesame oil, rice vinegar, and fish oil sauce. And here's my forged greens, put inside. Thanks for watching this video on daylilies. Uh, tune in to my next video where I'm going to challenge a family member on creative ways to prepare daylilies. Thanks a lot, bye!